This video has been sponsored by Current. Stick around to the end to learn more and find out how you could possibly be receiving $500 from yours truly. Hello everyone and welcome back to my second channel. This is my uh, second channel where I like to get a little bit goofier and wackier and drink a little bit of LaCroix. Today I got a nice limoncello and let's just jump into it. So I've been seeing a bunch of discourse lately about millennials versus Gen Z. It seems like there's like a, this big feud between the two generations. I keep seeing TikToks from Gen Z people making fun of millennials for like wearing skinny jeans and talking about Harry Potter too much. And you know what? That's fair. Honestly, my whole life I've considered myself a millennial and I, t I have worn skinny jeans and I probably will continue to wear them, honestly. Jeans that are just a little bit too tight for my de for my sweet little legs. But I'm not even sure if I am a millennial because because like every website that I look at has a different definition of where millennial ends and where Gen Z starts. So I honestly, I don't even know whose side I'm supposed to be on here. I feel like sometimes I agree with the Gen Z's like, yeah, that's fucking lame. Millennials, you do talk about Harry Potter too much. And, but then sometimes I agree with millennials. I only agree with millennials when I see a Gen Z talking about something that I do and I'm like, hey, okay, hold up. You can make fun of them for talking about how much they love coffee and saying awkward too much, but you can't. The second you start coming for me, that's where we have an issue. That's that's when I become a millennial, I guess. So I really want to figure out whose side I'm actually supposed to be on here. So I actually Googled BuzzFeed Millennial Gen Z quiz, uh, which is actually probably the most millennial thing that I could Google. I was like, shoot, we got to get to the bottom of this, guys. We got to look on BuzzFeed, the most reliable source of information. And I found this quiz, so I want to do that. But actually, I think maybe the best thing to do first is just to Google what a millennial is, because I, I want to make sure that I'm not like way off and I am somewhere in the middle, in the transition period. What are the birth year for millennials? Gen Y or millennials? Oh, I didn't realize that. Gen... We come before Gen Z, so that makes us Gen Y. Hmm. That kind of makes a lot of sense. Wait, but what's gonna happen after Gen Z then? They're gonna run out of letters. Gen Z Z? That's gonna be one sleepy generation, dude. Okay, Gen Y or millennials were born between 1981 and 1994 slash... Six? They're currently between 25 to 40 years old. Okay, so I like- I fall in that range. I was born in 1994. So according to this, I'm either right on the border or two years away from the border. They couldn't decide where the border was. Okay, over here it says end date is for sure 1996. So then I would definitely be a millennial. So maybe that answers our question. Maybe I don't have to do the quizzes now, actually. All right, that's the end of the video. Bye. This quiz that I found is specifically for, I think, people who fall right on the edge of millennial and Gen Z. It's called Hey Cuspers. It's time to figure out your generation once and for all. I feel like this quiz was honestly made for me. I want to figure out if I'm a Gen Z or a millennial. And uh, if anyone's going to be able to do it, I think it's BuzzFeed. First off, is that what we're going to call people who are right on the edge? Cuspers? Sounds like custard. Yo, are you a Gen Z or a millennial? No, neither, dude. I'm custard. I'm a creamy little custard boy. So we've all heard about Gen Z calling out millennials for being uncool and the older generation fighting back. But if you're a cusper, you might be feeling a little conflicted. You know what? I am feeling a little bit conflicted. Luckily, this quiz will sort you into the right generation so you'll know which side to take. Wait, I want to see what they're- do they have an article about Gen Z calling out millennials? I actually want to look at that. 18 things that millennials do that are no longer cool according to Gen Z. Number one, wearing your hair in a side part. Oh. Number two, wearing skinny jeans. Okay, I do own some slim fitting jeans, I'll admit. Using the laugh emoji. Okay, so here's the thing is that I do use the laugh emoji, but I feel like I use it ironically. Is that okay? I use it when I'm when I'm saying something that's really dumb, not when I'm like laughing at someone else's joke. I don't it's hard to explain. I feel like I don't use it how an old person would use it. Is that okay? Showing off your Hogwarts houses. Okay, that's something that I've never done, so that's good. Oh, when you hear Jojo, who do you think of? Jojo Siwa or this Jojo? I actually don't know who this Jojo is. It might be, is Jojo someone from The Bachelor? Is that her? Am I making that up? Jojo Bachelor. Is this her? Is that even the same person? I, well, I don't know who that is anyway. <laughs> I thought of Jojo Siwa. Do you remember writing on videotapes with Sharpies? Like not explicitly. I'm sure I must've done that at some point. No, I don't think I did. I mean, like if I had a VHS and I was too young to be writing on VHSs. I probably didn't even know how to write by the time we started using DVDs instead of VHSs. So I'm gonna say no. Oh, what do you think of when you hear the words TikTok? Okay, obviously I think of the app. Who thinks of the Kesha song now? That song is like 10 years old. I feel like even if you are like, even if you're a 30 year old millennial, I mean, people are talking about the app TikTok way more than the TikTok song now. So why would you be thinking of the song? I'm, I'm picking the app. Did you ever rank your top eight on MySpace? 
Oh, shit. Okay. This might be a millennial moment. I did have a MySpace. I don't remember if I did top eight. I, the only thing I remember about my MySpace is the profile picture that I had on it. I remember thinking my hair looked really cool at the time because it was like dirty blonde and I, it was like flipping out on the sides, you know? It was really long. And I remember thinking it looked really cool. I think I wanted to look like the dude from the movie Hoot. Is that what I'm thinking of? Yeah, this guy. I wanted to look like this guy. So just picture my profile picture being this on MySpace. That's what I looked like. But I don't think I did top eight, but I'm gonna say yes just to be safe because I did have a MySpace. When you think of Ice Cube's acting, which movie comes to mind? Friday or Are We There Yet? I don't think I know what Friday is, so I'm gonna pick Are We There Yet? Did you grow up watching Hannah Montana or The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody? Uh, yeah, I did. Which jeans do you prefer? Honestly, between these two, it's kind of a toss-up. I don't really know. I think they both look nice. And I definitely know which answer I'm supposed to pick for each generation. I think that's pretty obvious. You know, I'm just gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna click around the page until it clicks on one because it's really a toss-up. I don't have any preference. Did I click on one? Whoa, what happened? I clicked on an ad. I don't want this. What did I do? Oh, now I gotta go back. Do I have to do this all again? Oh, shit. <laughs> I shouldn't have done that. Now I gotta do the whole quiz over again. Okay, hold on. Okay, I gotta keep my mouse just right in here. And I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna click. I didn't do anything. I'm gonna close my eyes and I'm gonna click. It picked one. Which one did I pick? I picked loose jeans. Okay. Was your first cell phone a flip phone? This one I feel like I'm gonna be going in the Gen Z category, but for the wrong reason. Because my first phone wasn't a flip phone. My second phone was a flip phone. My first phone was one of those like Nokia brick phones that just looks like a a rectangle. Before I had a flip phone, I had one of those. So I feel like by clicking no, it's gonna think that my first phone was like an iPhone or something. But really it was just before I even had a flip phone, I had a different type of phone. The flip phone I had was a Razer, a Motorola Razer, which was pretty tight. I honestly miss that phone. That thing was sweet. So I'm gonna, I mean, I'll be honest and I'll just click no, but I feel like that's a ill-conceived question. When you hear the word Millie, who do you think of? When I hear the word Millie, Millie Bobby Brown or a Millie by Lil Wayne? I wish the two answers weren't right there because now I'm thinking of both of those equally. I didn't get a chance to just react to it by my by myself. Millie, Millie, I'm trying, I'm trying to just think of whatever pops into my head first. Millie! It's the song, it's probably the song. A Millie by Lil Wayne. Did you memorize your friend's phone number so you could do three-way calls on your landline? Um, I mean like, I think I still know some of my friend's parents' phone numbers from calling them. I wasn't really a big three-way call guy. Yeah, it's kind of crazy that landlines used to exist and people don't really have them anymore. Like, I don't think I'll never, I don't think I'll ever have a landline. Cause why would I, why would I want that? Did you memorize your friend's phone numbers? I'm gonna say yes, I did, I did memorize my phone, my friend's phone numbers. When you hear the name Harry, who comes to mind? I'm gonna say Harry Styles, but that might just be cause I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. And Harry Styles is a little more relevant than Harry Potter anyway. Sorry, Harry. <laughs> the boy who lived, more like the boy whose career died. You're irrelevant, bro. Did you grow up watching MTV shows like Next, Date My Mom, and Room Raiders? Date My Mom? <laughs> Wait, is that a real show? I mean, the answer is no. The answer to this is no, but hold on. Now I gotta look up the show Date My Mom. Date My Mom, 2004 reality series. Okay, so it was from 2004 to 2006. I was not allowed to watch MTV during 2004 and 2006. I was not, I was not old enough for MTV. Date My Mom is a television dating show airing on MTV. An 18 to 24 year old heterosexual male, gay male or lesbian female goes on three separate dates with three moms who try to convince them to pick their son or daughter. Oh, so you're not actually trying to get with the mom. You're trying to feel out the vibe of their child by dating her. Huh, interesting. Okay, that's weird. Well, I didn't watch that. They should make this again, but you actually are trying to get with the mom. And finally, which hair parting do you prefer? We got middle parts and we got side parts. Uh-oh, I don't know. I feel like they both look good. Uh, you know what? For the other one that was a toss up, I picked the clear Gen Z answer. So for this one, I'll pick the clear millennial answer. I'll pick side parts. Oh! Whoa, dude, Gen Z. Holy cow, interesting. Very interesting, Gen Z, huh? Going into this quiz, I was not expecting to get Gen Z. I was, I'm, <laughs> I'm almost positive I am a millennial. I fall in the millennial thing. I think I might just have immature taste in things. Immature in the most literal sense. I'm not trying to add a negative connotation to that. I just mean like, I have a the taste that young people have maybe. Which is maybe it's kind of cool right now. I feel like when I get older, that will be less cool. Like if I keep having the young generation's taste in things by the time it's like 20, 2040 
and I'm what 45 years old and but I'll be identifying with Gen ZZZ and I'll be like rocking out to their space music and my kids will be like grandpa why do we call you grandpa if you're our dad and also get your own music dude go listen to Lil Peep and Lil Pump I feel like cool people nowadays or at least maybe in my generation I don't know if this is a Gen Z thing or a millennial thing but like I feel like my age growing up sort of like the hipster kids would listen to the Beatles I wonder if like I wonder who that will be when like we're old I wonder who my generation's cool hip kids will listen to like will they be like listening to Lil Pump and be like damn they really don't make music like this anymore all the music these days is made by robots and it just goes beep boop beep boop okay let's read the description Gen Z you care deeply about the environment you view society through a morally conscious lens and you hope to leave this world a better place than you found it <laughs> shit speak for yourself dude I'm trying to make this world awful I'm taking every chance I get to make this place a piece of shit this is either the description of Gen Z or Boy Scouts I remember when I was in a Boy Scout every time we I just said in a Boy Scout. I meant in Boy Scouts. I remember when I was in a Boy Scout, every time we would leave a campsite, we would have to walk around and pick up trash to make sure that we left it a better place than we found it. So I don't, maybe Boy Scouts were the original Gen Z. You might spend a bit too much time on your phone. I do. But you also know how to harness the power of technology for good. Yo, that last part is honestly kind of true. I do know how to harness the power of technology for good. Like, for example, I just spent like two weeks making a song about wanting to fuck a Minecraft creeper with Curtis. Technology, man. We wouldn't have been able to do that 30 years ago. Okay, I kind of feel like I know whose side I'm supposed to be on now. I'm a Gen- I'm a regular Gen Zer. Okay, let's do another quiz just to make sure, actually. So this one just says, if you've done more than 30 of these things, you're a zillennial. This is just figuring out if I'm on the cusp. So this is going to- this is gonna tell me if I'm a cusper, which I obviously am. Okay, check off everything that applies to you. You identified as a 90s kid growing up because technically you were alive in them. Yes, I was a kid in the 90s, so I was a 90s kid. You enjoyed the best of 90s snacks and 2000 snacks. What's the difference? What does Scooby-Doo fruit snacks count as? Because whatever, whatever those were, those slapped. I'm trying to think of what like a 90s snack would be. Like pizza rolls or something? Pop tarts? Okay, I'll say both, sure. You knew the ultimate outfit was from L Justice or Limited 2. Okay, I didn't shop at those places. So I'm not gonna check it. You've watched some 90s shows like Rugrats and all that. I did watch Rugrats, I never watched all that though. But you saw older shows like Full House, mostly through reruns. Yes. Oh my god, dude. I'm I'm checking like everything on this list. I'm a straight up cusper. Fell asleep on the couch in the middle of the night watching George Lopez. Oh, dude. How it's I mean, it is kind of weird how universal all of these experiences are. Just because you were born like anywhere in a five-year time span, you just immediately have so much in common with like everybody. But I guess it's also not very surprising because of how like how much our society revolves around TV and most of these questions are just about TV. These nationally broadcasted shows that literally millions of people, if not tens of millions of people, watch. I guess it's not that surprising. Your emo phase happened in middle school, not high school. Oh shoot. Dude, I did go I did go through a little smidgen of an emo phase and I you know what I did go through it was middle school it was yeah I had one of those did have you ever seen one of those beanies with a brim a beanie with a brim like a tiny little brim I thought I was the coolest guy in my whole school when I bought one of those it had kind of like a skater emo vibe to it and I had that and I also had Heelys, and I thought I was pretty darn cool. You remember when unlimited texting wasn't the norm yes your main medium for art was kid pics dude Oh, I forgot about Kid Picks. Did y'all fuck with Kid Picks or what? Kid Picks was like a program on the computer, which is sort of like Microsoft Paint, but like a fun version that had all these cool brushes and tools. And you could put little stamps down and you could, oh dude, this is, <gasps> whoa, this is bringing back really deep memories of making the circles. Okay, this is a millennial moment right here, guys. I know my millennials in the comments are gonna, are gonna fuck with the kid picks nostalgia. You played a lot of Club Penguin. Yes, I did. You watched the cringy millennial versus Gen Z fight online and just quietly minded your own business because you don't really want to claim either. I guess so. Sure, I'll check that. All right, show me my results. You're a zillennial. Wait, what? Wait, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this quiz is called if you've done more than 30 of these things, you're a zillennial. I didn't check more than 30 of these things. I checked 28 and my result was you're a zillennial. You're definitely a millennial Gen Z cusper. I feel like I'm not. I feel like it that this goes against the whole title of the quiz. You were born in the late 90s or very early 2000s. I wasn't. I was born.
I was born in the mid 90s. This quiz is straight up wrong. You're also probably not too sure where the heck we fit in right now, but at least we're all confused together. I feel like you're more confused than me. You, I, you made this whole quiz wrong. Okay, well, you know what I think I learned from this? I think that I am a millennial technically in the year that I was born, but I think that like, because I'm on YouTube so much and TikTok, I sort of understand maybe a little bit more Gen Z stuff than most millennials do. I think that's what I'll say. Okay, well, that was fun, but now it's time to talk about our sponsor. This video has been sponsored by Current, AKA the future of banking, and today they are actually going to be helping me give back to you guys. Current, if you did not know, is a mobile bank. They're a real bank with a Visa debit card. This is my card. And a really cool thing about them is they told me for this sponsorship, they specifically want to help me give you guys money. So they're giving me $5,000 to give to you guys on Current. So I'm gonna be splitting it up between 10 people. That way each person will get like $500. So if you sign up for Current and request me $500, my username on Current is just Danny Gonzalez, I will be accepting 10 of those requests. So yeah, should be fun. Request money from me, I will pay you money. Honestly, it's a really great service too. They've got, I mean, just as many features as like your traditional old person's bank. It works with Apple Pay, Google Pay, Cash App, Venmo, and signing up is free and they ship you your card for free. So really no reason not to. There's a chance that you could win $500. So if you want to sign up, go to current.com slash Danny. And again, if you want $500, then you can request it from me. My username on there is Danny Gonzalez. So thank you to Current for doing this and thank you to you guys for checking out Current. Obviously it helps me out when you guys check out my sponsors and it's also going to help you out because Current is an amazing service and also you could win money. So. No reason not to. I forgot to record anything after the ad read, like an outro. But I also don't usually do outros on this channel. Did you guys like the video? Bye.